Good evening, good evening, good evening. How is everyone doing tonight? It is September. So I said we need to go over some September grants. We need to go over some September grants so we can get our business to the bank. So we can get our business to the bank. So if you are interested in learning about how to structure your business, protect your asset, and fund your business and market your business, comment banks in the comment bank in the comment. And a link will be sent to you if you want to come to my free See the Bank Masterclass this Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Comment bank in the comments if you're on my Instagram page. TikTokers, DM me the word bank. If you want to come to my free masterclass going over business structure, asset protection, business grants, and marketing. So let's get into business grants. T uh, type in the comments, what do you need money for? Let me get some notes. Type in the comments, what do you need money for your business? Do we need it for some inventory? Do you need it for marketing? Do you need it for some payroll for other employees? What do you need money for for your business? And we're going to do a walkthrough of the Galaxy of Star Business Grant. This is going to be a startup grant, meaning you do not have to have an LLC. Um, most business grants are going to want to have a registered business, meaning you have an LLC or a corporation. But this one, all you have to do is have a business idea, a business idea, okay? Hold on. So when we are applying for business grants, let's. I'm going to first go through the application. So everyone who's saying I'm too busy, um, I don't, I don't have time. I've never filled out a grant application before. I want you guys to see how simple the application is. And this one is really simple, okay? So most business grants, the application is going to be online with you answering questions, okay? So this is going to be Galaxy of Stars. If you don't have my business, my, my business grant bundle and you want a link to a thousand uh, a thousand business grants along with training courses saying how to fill them out then comment grants in the comments and a link will be sent to your dm comment grants in the comment if you want to get a link to my grant bundle it's only 99 dollars. the list is going to be updated every single month and you have lifetime access anywho the galaxy of star grant this grant is going to be for four thousand two hundred and fifty dollars four thousand two hundred and fifty dollars y'all ready let's go the first uh the first question is what is your email if you have an email address type one in the comments because that means we can go to question number two if you have an email address type in a one in the comments so i know i got somebody on here and we can go to question number two so question number one is email now side note Y'all, please don't be putting no Gmail account on this application for this free money, okay? We want we want our business to stand out. Now, there is nothing on this application that's saying that you cannot use a Gmail account. So what I'm about to say now is coming out from my heart, okay? I believe in making your business look as professional as possible to kind of make you stand out from the rest, kind of be the creme de la creme of the businesses, right? So the Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, iCloud, me.com, all of those are personal email addresses, right? We want the people to know, hey, I went above and beyond. I really, you know, I'm taking my business seriously and I have a branded email address. Now, if you have a startup or just an idea and you don't have a business, then go on ahead and put your personal email on here because you don't have a business. But the first question is going to be for your email, email address. Okay, second question is first and last name. If you have a first and last name, give me a two in the comments. If you have a first and a last name, Give me a two in the comments so I know that we can go to, to question number three. I got someone on this live that can go to question number three. Got some twos on TikTok, so let's go. The third question is going to be, what is your zip code? What is your zip code? If y'all got a zip code, 
give me a number three in the comments. If y'all have a zip code, give me a number three in the comments so I know we can go on to the next question. Bam, okay. Now, the next one's tricky, y'all ready? The next one's gonna be a drop down button and it's asking you for your ethnicity and here are your options. Hispanic or Latino, African American or Black, Native American or Alaska Native, Asian American or Pacific Islander, Caucasian or white, other ethnicity or prefer not to say. So if y'all feel comfortable picking an ethnicity or saying I prefer not to say, give me a four in the comments. Give me a four in the comments if you feel like you can disclose your ethnicity or say, girl, I, pre I prefer not to say, because that's an option. Give me a four. Okay, TikTok, we got some fours. Bam. Now, here's our next question. It's going to be your gender. You can choose from male, female, or prefer not to say. Gender, male, female, or prefer not to say. If we feel comfortable saying I'm a man, I'm a woman, or I prefer not to say, then give me a five in the comments. Give me a five in the comments, okay? Now, here's our... Hold on. Bam. TikTok got my five. Okay, now here is our, here's our last question, y'all. Y'all ready? It's going to be another drop-down button. What is your business status? What is your business status? You can choose from, I would like to start a business or I currently own a business. I would like to start a business or I currently own a business. Now, if you drop a, drop a money, money emoji in the comments, if you feel like, with your busy day of working on nine to five, taking care of kids, running errands, living life, running your business. If you could pull maybe two minutes out of your day and fill out a grant application for $4,250 that's not asking for your tax returns, they're not pulling your credit, you don't have to pay the money back, um... We don't have to have any kind of financials, no profit and loss statement. They're not asking you for a bank, no, no bank savings. They aren't even asking you for an LLC. And you have enough time to give somebody your email address, your name, your zip code, your ethnicity, your gender, and tell them whether you have a business or you're thinking of a business. See, the reason why I am always on Instagram dancing, talking about grants, and doing lives is because you don't have to pay the money back. Do you know how hard it is to get funding or capital for your business that you don't have to pay back? Yes, we can go take out our 401k. Yes, we can go drain our savings. Yes, we can go max out these credit cards. But let me tell you something. When you go drain that savings, maybe in, in 60 days, the business is like a baby. It's going to need some more money. It's going to need something else. Hold on. Let me get my monkey. Hold on. Hold on. So when we drain the savings account and we have no more reserve and then the clients didn't come in this week and the inventory went up and, you know, it was slow last week and now our cash flow is looking funny. Now we have the monkeys on our neck right? Now we got the monkeys because we didn't use all of our savings, all of our 401k to get the business started, but no one told us it was going to take some time to get clients. So you may have to pay the rent or carry the business. Hold on. You might have to carry that. Hold on. Let me serious. You may have to carry that business for a couple of months. You thought once you got that website and that logo, girl, you was going to be rolling, right? But you realize, oh, it's going to take me a little bit more to get the clients coming in to pay all these bills. We don't want the monkeys around our neck. This is stress. This is, this is stress. This is eating and gaining weight or not eating and losing weight, however you handle stress. 
This is cussing and fussing with your significant other. This is, I, I can't be creative. This is pulling these kids out of ballet and swim. And this is not what you want, okay? This is not what you want. So, to get the monkeys off our neck, if there is a way for us to get money into our business that we don't have to pay back, that would be like a capital infusion. It'd be like, oh, I can catch my breath for a good 30 days to kind of come up with something, zig or zag, make something shake, get a game plan, and keep working my business, okay? So business grants are a great way of getting money into your business that you don't have to pay back okay yes you can go get funding and match up these credit cards and get you a line of credit and do all of that but on the first on the first baby on that first the monkeys coming right back around they coming right back around so Depending on your risk level, depending on if you're like a newbie or you if you've been in the trenches, depending on how you handle stress, some people can't handle handle these monkeys. The monkeys is too much, it's causing anxiety, to, it's just that they just can't handle it, right? So you want to make sure that when you're starting your business, that you're starting it with all the tools in your toolbox, or at least knowing about all the tools that are readily available to you okay so where do you find business grants from i'm glad you asked well number one i have a business grant bundle it's going to have a thousand business grants i update the list every single month you have lifetime access to the list and there are training videos inside that explain to you you know what to ask for what not to ask for how to apply for business grants and it's only $99. Okay, well, you ain't got $99, I still got you. You can Google business grants. So mind you, a business grant does not have to be industry specific. So in this grant, it doesn't ask you, what does your business do, okay? So you can have a realtor business, you can have an online boutique, you can have a restaurant. Most business grants, if you just Google small business grant, some grants will come up that you can apply for. Besides Google, there are grant websites like grantwatch.gov, helloalice.com. There are different sites that just list different business grants that are available. You can also check your local city's chamber of commerce. They will have like whatever are the local grants available. That will be a resource, okay? So before you talk about I'm so busy. I've never applied for a grant before. I want to pay someone to do it. Baby, when you are starting a business, when you are running a business, paying someone to apply for multiple grants for you may not be in the budget, right? If you're looking for funding, that means that you need money to do something to grow your business. And so if you need money, then we don't really need to be expending more money if we need money, right? So I tell entrepreneurs, the more control you can have over your destiny, the better. If I'm able to take out one, just take one Sunday out the month, just one Sunday, apply for five business grants. Number one, you're going to get accustomed to the questions that they're going to ask. They're going to ask you this, why you start your business? What makes your business unique from the competition? What challenges have you seen, faced in your business? Why do you need the money? And what are you going to do with the money? Once you start applying for multiple business grants, you're going to see, oh my gosh, they're asking me the same question. If I write my answers down on the first application, all I have to do is copy and paste on the next application. Business grants are a great way of getting money into your business without the monkeys. Okay, now are you gonna have to apply? Yes, is it guaranteed? Baby, it's not guaranteed if you gotta wake up tomorrow. So nothing in life is guaranteed. No, are you gonna have to take some time out? Yes, you may have to take an hour out of your month to apply for five business grants. But once you start applying for business grants, number one, you're gonna increase the likelihood of you winning because you're applying to multiple grants. Number two, you're gonna start getting more, more, you're gonna start getting more confident in filling out the grant applications. 
Number three, oh my God, what if you win one? It's going to take a monkey off your neck. So for some reason, everyone wants to max these credit cards out. And I'm not knocking whatever is your strategy. Do whatever works for your business. Everyone is different. But grants are a great way to add into your funding strategy that you don't have to pay the money back. So you're not going to have the monkeys on your neck. Okay? So. If you don't have my grant bundle, you can comment grant in the comment and a link will be sent to you. What are we going to ask for? Now, some business grants are going to ask you for certain things. So let me pull up the Amber grant. The Amber grant is another grant that's offered every single month. What the heck? So the Amber grant... Let's go over these questions. So some grant applications are going to ask you about your business idea. They're going to ask you why you need the money. So let's first go over why we need this money. When we're talking about a business grant, don't think about a nonprofit grant. Okay, don't think about I'm going to make my business sound like it's on its, on, 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 on its deathbed. You know, it's an ICU. You know, we got an eviction notice on the door. I don't have any clients. I'm about to, you know, lose it. That that that's not how that's not how we're coming on the business grant side. Okay. We need to act like there is some money right outside the door and we need X, Y, and Z to go pick up that money. We need to act like there's an opportunity. There is uh another book of biz that I can pick up. There is some money I can go make if I had one, two, and three. So when we're talking about why does your business need money, why do you need money? What is it that you need, okay? You want to ask for things that will make you money. Things like inventory, equipment, rent, payroll for employees, um, remodeling expenses, supplies, uh, professional fees. So if you have to go and get a trademark, get a patent, uh, conferences, if there's like a, like some kind of conference you can go to and you would learn X, Y, and Z. And once you learn X, Y, and Z, it would either make you a more efficient blah, 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 or you can go do a whole nother line of business having this training, um, equipment, things that are going to make you money, marketing, now, what are we not going to ask for? We're not going to ask to catch up on bills. Maybe that's that's not going to make us any money. And we don't want to let them know that we're behind on bills, okay? If the, if the Titanic ship is sinking and you only have one life jacket, are you really about to make a difference throwing this one life jacket and there's hundreds of people on this ship sinking? No, okay? So acting like your business is about to go out of business is not what they want. Asking to go pay yourself is not what they want. So I have a grant bundle. It's $99. I want to give 10 people my bundle. So pay me $1,000 so I can go give away my bundle. No, that's bit number one. Businesses don't give away anything. It's called a business, right? Number two, you want the money to not go directly into your pockets. You want the money to go to ancillary things Things that, are, things that are not tied directly to you, but will still help you make money, okay? So payroll for your employees, yes. So maybe you need an employee to come in your business and do like that day-to-day -day operations, the emails, the social media, the answering the phone, booking clients, then you can go be in your business more. That's that that kind of payroll, yeah, but it's paying you directly, no. Um, I just need some 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 emergency money, just some operating expenses, just in case something happens, baby. You in business, okay? It's eat or get eaten, kill or be killed. Baby, these these monkeys is everywhere, baby. There is no there there is no there is no lucky leprechaun, you know, coming in on a unicorn holding a four leaf clover, coming to give you a pile of money to make your business journey as peaceful as possible. That's not that's not about to happen, okay? So what you want to do is. Ask for things that are going to make you money. So you got to first ask yourself, hmm, what does my business need to make money?
Now, if you have everything that your business needs, but you're not making enough money, then you may not need a grant. You may need a better marketing plan, right? If you have all the equipment, all the supplies, you know, you have everything, but you're not generating enough money, then you may need a new marketing plan to get more customers. Because a business is not running on funding. A business runs on cash flow. Customers buy your product or service, and then you and that's how you generate cash. And you, and you gotta have more cash coming in than bills going out, and that makes you a profitable business. Okay, so if if the issue is you're just not turning a profit, we gotta see what is the issue. Number one, do you need more clients? Number two, are you bleeding somewhere? Are you paying too much in payroll? Do you have are, are are you not pricing your product or your service correctly? So you're actually losing money on it. Like there are different things that we can figure out as to what the problem is. Um, for example, I used to have a hair salon franchise, Soupy Express, Houston's home of fifty dollar sewing, and we had ten locations between Texas and Louisiana. And when you start making a lot of money, sometimes you don't really be checking all your invoices because you're making so much money. So when you when you have a, a, a when you have a a a a heavy cash flowing business, it's easy to lose the small money. You won't lose you know big money. You know we looking for ten thousand, fifteen thousand, but the small money you know kind of get past us, and so. Our vendor increased our pricing without telling us. And so we have been buying from him for so long, you know, he would just, hey, we need, you know, X amount of kilos. He would just, you know, tell us the price and we go wire the money. We had, we have been, we have been in bed with him for so long. I was no longer looking over the invoices. Stupid. <laughs> Give me a monkey right here. Stupid, baby. I don't care how much money you make. You always look at the invoice. So long story short. Things just weren't adding up. The numbers didn't make sense. But I couldn't put my hand on the numbers are, are not making sense. Where am I off? He had increased the pricing on our 26, 28, 30-inch bundle. We also sold hair. And so the, the price increase for what it cost me versus what I was selling it for, not only was I not making a profit, I was losing $10 per bundle. So if you came in and bought hair, I would give you all your money back and I would give you $10 per bundle. That's what was going on for people who are buying that 26, 28, 30. So I was bleeding. But once again, when you make a lot of money, you can bleed for a long time before you catch it. You know what I'm saying? When 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 cash flow is tight, you are you looking at every bill and you know you you putting some on the back burner, so you are looking at everything, right? So when you're bleeding and you don't catch it, you can bleed for a long time. So once I caught, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So maybe you're not able to pay your bills because you're not pricing your product correctly. Whenever I do my consultations, a lot of times they'll price the product on what the actual product costs. So if I sell monkeys and this monkey costs me five dollars, I price it at five. I price my cost at five dollars, so I'm gonna sell it for ten, and then I make five dollars. Well, if the monkey came from China or overseas, we got a shipping cost. And then if I put this monkey in any kind of packaging, we got a packaging cost. And then if I got to pay any kind of importation fee, but I'm not adding all those fees onto, I'm not adding the fees on this monkey. So really the monkey cost me $9 after all the fees. But in my mind, I'm saying it cost me five. So when I sell it for $10, I think I'm making $5. I'm only making one. So when you're not, if your issue is you're not making enough money to pay your bills, then it's either going to be, we got to work on our marketing to get more customers coming in. We may have, we may be bleeding somewhere. Are we bleeding because we're not, we're not pricing our product correctly? <laughs> Are them employees stealing from you? Because them employees will steal. Okay. They will steal from you. So stay ready. What is the issue?
is your industry just going through a slow period so you want to be able to pick up what the bleed is now if you're saying girl I need equipment. I need to remodel my location. I've been working from home, but now it's time for me to go get a brick and mortar. I already have a brick and mortar, but it's too small. I need a bigger location. Or if I have this equipment, I can make my product faster. If I have this equipment, I can then add on a whole nother lane of business. Or if I had more inventory, if I can get my inventory in bulk, it'll cost me less. I can make more money. All of these things are ways, are reasons to be applying for business grants, to get money into your business. So if you don't have my grant bundle and you want to get my grant bundle that has a thousand business grants, it has training videos, it's updated every single month and you have lifetime access, you want to comment grants in a grants in the comment and a link will be sent to you to get my grant bundle in your DM. If you're like, well, maybe I need help with my business. Like maybe I need a game plan. I need to change some things around. Then you want to comment help in the comments and a link will be sent to you to book a consultation so I can kind of get you a game plan as to what it is that we need to do to either, you know, increase our customers coming in, change our marketing around. How do you get that ideal client and then bring them to your brick and mortar or to your, um, or to your website? You got to go take, you got to, you have to go get your your client and bring them to you okay so the startup grant i'm i'm running my mouth is that my right mouth i said i was gonna do the amber grant so here's the amber grant the amber grant is gonna be ten thousand dollars the amber grant is a monthly grant meaning it's available every single month it's ten thousand dollars i want to say that they pick 10 people for 10 and then um at the end of the year, they do a grant for $25,000. So let's go over the questions for the Amber Grant. Number one, your name and email address, okay? I am a big proponent of being the creme de la creme of whatever it is you're doing. Bring your A game from the beginning, okay? So you, yes, you can apply for a business grant with a Gmail, a Yahoo, an iCloud, a me.com. You can do all that. Bring your A-game together, okay? Your A-game is going to be having a branded email address. So info at yourbusinessname.com, customer service at yourbusinessname.com. You want to be able to mirror your business like Walmart, like Sam's Club, like a real business. Why? Because you're a real business owner. If God, if God put the thought of starting a business in your mind, then you are the CEO of a six, seven, eight, or nine figure business. I can't tell you the number because God, God, God gave you the vision. He didn't give me the vision, right? But what did he show you in your dreams? What does he keep telling you that you are going to be the CEO of? In fact, everyone, if you on this live, I'm giving this free game out. So type in the comments, I am a CEO of a six, seven, eight, nine figure business. Whatever it is, I want to see it. I want to see it in the comments. So we can go ahead and put our money hats on. Don't listen to what I'm saying looking at your bank account if it's negative. Don't listen to what I'm saying with the mindset of, I, I didn't have a client come today. Don't listen to what I'm saying with the mindset of, I had to just close my business down, I'm a failure. No, you're not, baby. You're just in business, right? Every seven and eight figure business is starting in a college dorm room, an apartment complex, in a garage, right? It's not how you start, it's how you finish. So you got to just finish strong. So here's the Amber Grant. Number one, your name. Number two, your email address. So, oh, that's what I was saying, baby. Our email address, we're going to go on GoDaddy.com and we are going to pay $12 to get us a branded email address. We're going to have our business stand out from all of the rest. We are a we are a six, seven, eight, or nine figure business owner. So we're going to bring our A game when it comes to us submitting for these grant applications. Okay, so we're going to have a branded email address. The next thing that we're going to have, we're going to have a website or a landing page. Okay. Now, if you're like a girl. I am robbing Peter to pay Paul or I am robbing Peter to pay Paul and Mary. I got you. I got you. If we can't afford a website, the first thing we're going to go do, we're going to at least go by our domain name. Okay. Your domain name is that www.blahzeblah. 
We're going to go on GoDaddy.com and we're going to buy, buy our domain name. Depending on the name, it makes some, it, uh, it can range depending on, on how common the name is. But baby, you can get you a domain name for $5. Okay, you can get your domain name, a domain name for ten dollars. So you want to first own the name, because on this application we're gonna put this www blah blah blah. Now I I am I am a um I'm also a big proponent of you have not because you asked not right. So if I can't afford a website, what I would do, I will go on GoDaddy.com tonight and buy my domain name. I would then go on Fiverr.com. And you can probably get a landing page for like $30. If you don't have it, that means in this week, we aren't going to be eating out. We're not going to get our nails done. We're not going to get these lashes done. We're going we're gonna to save our money up. And that Starbucks coffee, that eating out at lunch and dinner, that hookah bar, you know, getting these lashes. We're going to take all that money and get our domain name. And then we're going to go on Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And we're going to have someone get a landing page. A landing page is like a one-page website, right? Now, he, well, Joel, I just you, I just said I didn't have no money for a website. Sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it, right? So we are gonna go get a landing page. Is this gonna have our? If you if you have a logo, put your logo up there. If that's not in the budget, go on Canva.com, C-A-N-V-A, and just make you up a little logo. Or they they may even have some like little AI logo generators just go get your logo and have the fiverr guy the graphic guy put on the landing page your logo and then just do a little snippet so let's just say i am joy's boutique i will put on my landing page something like this um i wouldn't put coming if, if you're saying that you're a startup you could put coming soon right or you can say we are revamping our website what is this? We're in fall. Okay, we are revamping our website for the for for the fall. Stay tuned for our new site. So when they go on to our to when when they see we're gonna put our we're gonna put our ugh, we're going to put our domain name on the application. So we're answering all the boxes. Then when they go to our domain, it looks like we're just revamping our business, right? Like sometimes businesses will just change. They'll change their logo. They'll change their packaging. Like they'll like do like a whole rebrand. So it looks like your page is down because you're rebranding, not because you ain't got a website. Okay. So you want to kind of, you know, make it look like you got yourself together. Okay. Next, they're going to want your business name. That says optional. So on this grant, once again, it's a startup grant. You don't have to have a business. You can just have a business idea. So here is the first question. Tell us about your business or idea. What motivates you? What's the story behind your business? And what are the opportunities and challenges? Okay, here's question number one. So one reason why I'm a big proponent of you filling out your own grant application is because who can sell your baby the best and your baby is the business? Who is missing out on family functions, on going out of town? Who is passing on uh, trips, shopping? Who is taking money out the savings account? Who's maxing out these credit cards? Who is in the grease? You, right? So who better to talk about your business, why you started, why you want to, you know, why you're doing what you're doing, what's your vision behind, who's better to sell the baby than you? So question number one, tell us about your business or business idea. What motivates you? What's the story behind your business? And what are the opportunities and challenges? What I would do is I would write out all of, I would answer those things. What motivates you? And let it be something besides money, right? So why did, why, why did, I, so what, what motivated you to start this business? Maybe when I, when I say more than money, meaning money that's just for you. So if you want to talk about, um, 
having like generational wealth or I want to make sure, you know, that my child never has to, you know, um, apply for a job. I want to make sure, you know, that my kids, I can pass something that's, that that's different than I, I want to have enough money to go buy a car. Right. So what, what motivates you? What's the story behind the business? Why did you start this business? Right. Is there something that's missing in the industry? And that's how you started it. Uh, is there a need that's not being met or not being met effectively? And that's why you started it, started it. Did you create some kind of new idea? Like, are you the apple in the industry? Like there was, there, there wasn't a, before the iPad came out, and if, if you, in order for you to have internet, you had to have a computer. There was no tablet that you can just walk around with that had internet until you had the iPad. So maybe you have created a new way of doing something, or maybe you invented something. I don't know. What's the story behind your business? Why did you start it? And then what opportunities and challenges are you facing? So, you know, being an entrepreneur, you know, what challenges did you face? You know, are, are, did you take all the money out and you're facing, you know, you know, getting different things done? Are you, did you maybe come from humble, humble beginnings? Um, did you experience some kind of tragedy? You know, uh, I don't know. What challenges are you facing? Are you doing all this and, and a mom or and a dad? You know, like what challenges do you face, you know, in starting your business? Question number two. Tell us what you would do with the money if you were awarded the grant. Please be sp specific about your plans if you won the $10,000 and the $25,000 year-end grant. So, basically, they're wanting, they're wanting to know what do you need, what do you, what, what do you need, and how, and how is it going to that since it's a ten thousand dollar grant that we're asking for things that are going to be adding up to ten thousand dollars so we don't want to just put two thousand dollars of of need as we're applying for a ten thousand dollar grant okay so whenever we're talking about budget you want to say what it is and then how it's going to help your business so let's just say um Let's just say I need to go take a course. And if I take this course, I will be able to, mm, no. Let's say I'm in transportation. And if I was able to get, I think it's called a reefer. Whatever is, whatever is the, is the truck that is refrigerated. If I was able to get the, the truck part that's refrigerated, I could then, you know, start to carry loads for grocery stores or medicine or things that require refrigeration, which will add another lane of business, another stream of income. Well, I would say I'm, I'm asking for the $10,000 to be able to get this trailer so that I can now, you know, do contracts for different grocery stores for different markets in my area, which will then increase my bottom line by adding an additional stream of income every single month. Oh, my stuff is bad, baby. Am I still bad? Instagram? TikTok, can y'all hear me? As I'm running my mouth. As I'm running my mouth. Uh, put a yes, TikTok, if you can hear me on Instagram. Can you put a yes or a no if you can hear me on Instagram. Okay, TikTok says yes. Okay, Instagram, yes or no that if you can hear me. We can't hear you. Okay. Well, let me plug my phone up. Hold on. Okay, I'm charging my phone. So Instagram, can you hear me now? Okay, yes. Okay, great. Okay. So not only do you want to say what you need. So I need I need equipment. I need um, marketing. I need payroll. You want to say what you need, how much it's going to cost, and why you need it. So I need $3,200 because I am going to redo my packaging. And by me redoing my packaging, it's going to help me be able to mirror what the, what, what the competition, how the competition is sending out their package, I mean, their products, 
which will help me be able to compete with them in the market. Or I want to, I need three thousand two hundred dollars to go get new to go get new new headshots and get flyers, get business cards, get some new marketing material. So as I'm going to different conferences, I'm able to look as professional as possible and you know get some business. I need uh, to hire additional staff, so I need six thousand three hundred dollars to be able to you know get some additional employees in here to help me with. Um, with you know running that day to day if they're able to run my day to day business meaning you know talk to my clients answer my emails you know do my social media i will be able to work more hands on in the business to actually grow it okay so you want to say what it is you need how much that is and then how is this thing going to help you close going to help you grow your business or make more money is not just I need ten thousand dollars for marketing. Well, no, it looks like you didn't put any um any thought or effort into what it is that you're asking for. So be specific as to what you need, how much that is, and then how is this how is this going to help you grow your business? That's the grant application. That's the grant application. Those those questions so your name email address your business name your facebook or website and then tell us about your business idea and then tell us what you would do with the money if awarded the grant so when i say applying for business grants is not you don't have to fill out a 20 page grant proposal the longest part is going to be sitting down on your notes on the google sheet mapping out what is it that you need for your business what do i need for my business to make more money and then once you kind of map out those things and you're going to answer these questions why did you start your business what makes your business unique what obstacles or challenges have you faced and then why do you need the money once you can answer those five things that's going to be kind of like your blueprint. So every time you're filling a grant application, you're just going back to that Google to that Google Doc, seeing your answer, maybe fine-tuning it a little bit, depending on if they twist the question around a little bit or depending on what the budget is for the grant. But for the most part, they're going to be asking those, those same questions. So I have a grant bundle. You can comment grants in the comment for a link for the grant bundle. Um, I also have, there's training courses in the grant bundle. If you want like more, more hands on, uh, I have a grant writing course that you'll see on the grant bundle page, but, um, filling out the grant applications are very simple. Then they're, they're not requiring tax returns for the most part. They are not going to require financials. Most of the applications are going to be online. How I just read these questions off, they're going to be online and you are just answering the questions. Okay. So comment grant in the comments if you want a link to my grant bundle. It's only $99. If you ain't got it, you can Google business grants. You can look on websites so like, like helloalice.com or gov, grantwatch.gov and just Google small business grants. You can go to your local chamber of commerce. They will have some grants, but I always tell people apply for five business grants every single month. Apply for five business grants every single month. Number one, you're going to feel more confident about applying for the grant. Number two, you're going to increase your chances of getting the grant because, you know, you're applying to more grants. Um, and being able to get money into your business, that's not going to, you know, affect your cash flow. It's not going to have a monthly note. You know, all of these things are going to help your business grow quicker and help keep the monkeys off your neck. Okay. So the first grant, I, I will, TikTok, I don't know how to save my life. So if you go on my Instagram page, I got the same name on my Instagram page. I will post this video on my Instagram page for those who uh, came in late. I went over the Galaxy to Star grant. That's going to be a startup grant for $4,250. An LLC is not needed for that grant. And it literally had five questions. And I went through that grant. And then this grant is the Amber grant. Is the Amber grant. And so this one has, you know, two questions about your business idea and then what you need the money for and how you're going to use it. So 
uh comment grant in the comments and a link will be sent to your dm if you don't get it you can dm me the word grants and i'll send you the link you can click that first link in my bio um and you can it's going to be the be the grant bundle but you know get my bundle or google grants or look up grants but apply for five grants every single month and work on getting um getting some 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 debt free money into your business now if you're gonna say i apply for a grant i just don't get them well then i would say what are you asking for if you are applying for a grant and you're not getting them you may want to change what it is that you're asking for how are you pitching your business are you pitching your business that the doors are about to be you about to be shut in and you don't have any customers and oh my gosh once again nobody wants to throw one life jacket you know out to um a to the sinking titanic you need to make you need to always keep your business in positive light right so maybe you aren't wording things correctly maybe you aren't um asking for the correct things you know maybe you are acting like your doors are about to close and if they're competing against you and you're saying you're about to close your door because you have no customers and then Joyce Barbecue is saying, oh, I got a line wrapped around the corner. So I need this grant money to go ahead and knock a wall down out of my business and, you know, expand my expand my dining area and get some new tables, some new chairs, kind of do a little remodel so I can kind of, you know, have more customers in at one time to reduce that line. Well, who would you get the money to? It's the same with the grant. So you want to make sure that you are always putting your business in that best light. Okay. So comment grants in the comment if you need my grant bundle. If you want to book a consultation with me, either going over your business, why it's not growing, getting a game plan as to how to change up the marketing, or hey, I need help applying for a grant, comment help in the comments and a link will be sent to you. Or you can click that link in my bio for consultations. Um, but hey, we are almost in the fourth quarter of 2024. And there is no reason why we still can't make 2024 our best year. There is no reason why we can't make 2024 our best year, right? All we have to do is get a game plan as to what is it that I have to do. For me, and I always say this, I've made the most money when I just do a small tweak, just a small change, a small pivot, you know, just changing something small, changing how you're wording something, just changing our marketing up for a second, just kind of giving you a small little pivot. Sometimes it's just the smallest little things that make the biggest change financially. Like you, you may have one, two, three, and four, you are just missing number five. Or maybe you have one, three, four, and five, and number two is just, if you just remix number two, you will be good. It's the smallest thing sometimes that make the biggest difference, okay? So that is my spiel tonight on business grants. Um, I am having a free masterclass this Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, going over business structure, asset protection, business funding, solely in the business EIN, and of course, marketing, how to get your target audience and bring them to your brick and mortar or to your website. So if you want to go to my, if you want to come to my free masterclass and you are on my Instagram page, comment bank in the comments and a link will be sent to you. If you're on my TikTok page, DM me the word bank and I'll send you a link. If you don't get the link, you can always click the link in my bio and I have a, you want to click my free masterclass to see if the bank masterclass is going to be on this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, so I will post this to my page on Instagram. TikTokers, I'm not able to post, I don't know how to post the whole video on TikTok yet. All I know is how to post a snippet. So if one of y'all know how to post the video on TikTok, DM me and tell me how to post it. But if you come over to my Instagram page, same name on TikTok as in my Instagram, I'm going to post the entire video on Instagram, okay? Everyone have a fabulous night, and I will, of course, see you at the bank.